Welcome to Cold Cat Club. In this video, I'm going to share with you all about the topic so that you can understand that follicles do not freeze and neither does your head when you're having scalp cooling treatment wearing a cold cap. Now it's fair dues to maybe think that a cold cap and hear about scalp cooling and that it's a very cold treatment might make you think that you're going to freeze your follicles. But as you'll discover as we go through this video, that doesn't happen at all. And I think this is really important for people to understand. In my charity that I founded, Cancer Hair Care, we are asked this question week in, week out by people who are worried that their head is going to freeze during treatment, which would be really scary and is absolutely not gonna happen. In this video, I'm actually um, sharing information and chatting to Claire Paxman. And Claire is part of the Paxman family who are from Paxman Scalp Coolers. And they're the global uh, leading manufacturer of cold caps around the world. So I thought it'd be really good for her and I to get together and to have a conversation and share it with you so that hopefully you can feel much more confident about knowing what this very cold treatment is like, the fact that it can be comfortable and absolutely 100% guaranteed that your follicles and your head will not be frozen. One big myth to bust is that scalp cooling doesn't freeze the scalp. And of course, we've talked about it quite often, but when people first come across scalp cooling and a cold cap, they have maybe ideas of what's gonna happen. And I remember when we did some training together and you said the temperature of the scalp never goes below a spring day, 18 to 22 degrees. Correct. And I just thought that's something that's really stayed in my mind. Yeah, and it's a good way to remember. And, and you, you, you're correct, Jasmine, it's, it's people is often think it's a huge misconception that how scalp cooling works is by freezing that scalp or freezing those hair follicles. It'd be terrifying, wouldn't it, to think your, your head is going to be frozen? Absolutely. And you're faced with this with a cancer diagnosis, um, you're told you're going to lose your hair, but there might be a, a, an option of you retaining hair by using a cold cap. But we're going to freeze your scalp to, do, to achieve this. So yeah, it could be that determining factor um, as to whether someone wants to go ahead and try the treatment. Um, so no, we're not freezing the scalp at all and we're not freezing um, those hair follicles. Uh, we're actually, as you mentioned, we're taking the scalp down from circa 37 degrees down to about 18 to 22. Um, people might think we're freezing uh, the head because when you remove that cap, there often is ice or, it's, or the hair is crystallised. Um, so that can be a reason why people think uh, that's how it works. Uh, but no, as I mentioned, circa 37 degrees down to around 18 to 22 because how scalp cooling works is the first element is um, we're actually inducing vasoconstriction so we're limiting that blood flow down to 20 to 40 percent so less chemotherapeutic drug is actually getting to those hair follicles because those hair follicles are rapidly dividing cells and the chemotherapy targets all the rapidly dividing cells in the yeah. body and it can't differentiate between a healthy cell and a bad cancerous cell. And the hair is the second quickest growing cell, isn't it, in the body? It is. yeah, yeah, that's correct. So 90% yeah. um, of the time it's in its active growth phase. Yeah. Um, so it targets it. So what we're actually doing then is by taking the scalp down to that temperature, 18 to 22, nice yeah. spring day, um, what we're doing is those cells stop rapidly dividing. So the chemotherapy drug bypasses them. Um, so that's one of the other main um, uh, clinically proven ways of how scalp cooling works. So not freezing it no at frozen all. Follicles. No frozen follicles here. And of course, like you said, you know, people read the data and the information and the actual coolant is at around minus four, can yeah. get down to minus four. So people would assume, wouldn't they? They read maybe that bit and say, oh, wow, I'm going to have something on my head that's you know, around minus four temperature. But yeah. the thing is the scalp, as you said, the actual scalp doesn't drop below 18 to 22 degrees. And that's so important for people to know, isn't it? It is, yeah, it is. I mean, we have to be um, at sub-zero temperatures um, for us to be able to bring the scalp down or the, the head temperature down in, in rapid succession. Because, and it's also super important that whilst they're having the chemotherapy and for that period of time afterwards, that the scalp remains at that temperature. Yeah. And if we weren't using those temperatures, um, this wouldn't be possible and we wouldn't be able to maintain those temperatures either. 
And that's the whole point, isn't it? To try and minimise the hair loss. Yeah. Wearing a cold cap, having the scalp cooling, it yeah. needs to be at that reduced temperature. Absolutely. And I think it's nice for people to know as well that although that can feel very cold on the head, it's we'll look at this later, but it can be really well managed. Yeah. And you know, there are some tips I know we're gonna go through together later so that people can feel comfortable during treatment. Absolutely, yeah. And and why it can feel uncomfortable, we try to avoid using the word painful, but yeah. but some people can report it being painful or the most commonly used word is uncomfortable. But that's only for the first 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. Um, and, and that's because, again, as I mentioned, we're bringing that scalp temperature down in, in rapid succession. Um, but that discomfort is transient. It, can, it will go away. And there's lots of things, as you've just said, that we can do to help with that. Yeah, so no frozen follicles and comfort is available. Yeah, absolutely. Hey guys, just a heads up at the end of this video, depending on what scalp cooling manufacturer you're having, the temperature of your cold cap can vary. So it's just worth checking out what temperature your manufacturers say that your cold cap goes to, just so that you can have that information for yourself. But the main thing to remember is, no matter what scalp cooling manufacturer you have your cold cap treatment with, your follicle is never gonna freeze. Hope that's been helpful.